Direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. Great day, kids! Welcome to our class. I am Teacher Dishel and I am Teacher Jong. And for today's lesson, you will learn how to differentiate the kinds of proportion, find the missing term in a proportion, and solve problems involving direct, partitive, and inverse proportion. Let's begin! Let's try this first example. Two tricycles can transport 16 people. How many tricycles are needed to transport 64 people? We can say from the given situation that the more people there is, the more tricycles. letter N. Now, for the second step, let us set up a proportion. We have 2 over 16 is equal to N over 64. And for our third step, let us find the missing term, which is N. To find the missing term, we are going to use a cross multiplication method. 64 times 2 is 128. 16 times n is 16n. But we are only going to write 16. And the next step is, let's divide. 128 divided by 16, it is 8. Very good! It means there are 8 tricycles we need for 64 people. Good job! Now, let's have our next problem. If 10 men can finish a work in 7 days, how many men can finish the same work in 5 days? Here, in the given situation, when the number of days decreases, the number of men should increase. This is an example of inverse proportion. Now, what is an inverse proportion? In an inverse proportion, one quantity increases as the other quantity decreases at the same rate and vice versa. The first step we need to know is to identify the quantities used in the problem. Here, we have the number of men and the number of days. It is given that 10 men can finish the work in 7 days. Now, for 5 days, we are still looking for it. That's why, let's put N first. Now, the next step is to set up a proportion as indirect by an interchanging the position of n horizontally. Let's interchange the position of n horizontally to the given number 10. There! Now, we are ready for our third step. Let's find the missing term. Our given proportion is n over 7 is equal to 10 over 5. Let's have cross multiplication. 
5 times n is 5n. But let's write 5 only. 10 times 7 is 70. Now, the next step is to divide 70 by 5. 70 divided by 5 is 14. You are right! Therefore, n is equal to 14 men. This means that to finish the same work in 5 days, we need 14 men. Great job! Now, let's go to our next and final problem. A box has 92 cookies. Bob, Nika, and Ambo will share the cookies in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 2. How many cookies will each one of them get? Here, in the problem, we need to divide 92 cookies into Bok, Nika, and Ambo, considering the given ratio. This is an example of a partitive proportion. Now, what is a partitive proportion? In a partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. Now, let's try to solve the problem. In solving the partitive proportion, the first step is to find the sum of the ratio. Since the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 2, let's add the numbers. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. Now, the next step is to divide the base by the sum. The base is the total number of cookies, which is 92. Let's divide 92 by the sum of 4. 92 divided 4 is 23. And for our final step, let's multiply each quantity by the quotient. 23 times 1 is 23 cookies for bulk. 23 times 1 is 23 cookies for Nika. Lastly, 23 times 2 is 46 cookies for Ambo. Now, let's check if our answers is correct. Let's us add the number of cookies each one of them get. 23 plus 23 plus 46 is 92. Great job, students! You've made it! Now, here are the things that you have learned today. Thank you for listening!